Welcome to another edition of the Don't Argue All. Thanks to Palmer Bent. He's not growing back, kids. I think I'm gone, to be honest. Uh, not a good look. Mate, that could have been a costly, costly move, that bet, mate. It might mate, come back. I, I, I need a little bit of fertiliser or something on the top just to give it a bit of spark up. It's looking shocking. Hey, mate, uh, looking forward to this weekend. Always tricky. Short round, um, you know, only five games, uh, heading into an origin of that. Uh, it's always hard to kind of line the sides up. And generally, kids, we can get some results out of the ordinary, can't we? Well, mate, even look at last week. I had a stinker of, um, as far as my tips last week. I did throw a couple of upsets out there, but all the games that I thought the upsets would be <laughs> uh, ended up not being the upsets. And the other ones were uh, were the ones that got up. So really tough week there last week for me. Three from eight, which is nasty. But, um, yeah, these these split rounds, buddy, it's... Um, Interesting because you got all the Origin players obviously stepping up to Origin and going into camp, and then uh, who can sort of backfill those roles the best, and who's got the best pipeline of players to come from reserve grade to step up into first grade and do their job. So interesting round, tough one to pick again. Yeah, absolutely, it is, mate. You just touched on three out of eight. Uh, I've only got you by one, mate. Four out of eight for myself, so mm. I can't really brag about it. Um, the kids <laughs> get on. Rabbits to win, Raiders to win, Knights to win. You dipped out in the last two. Uh, and uh, I was stiff on uh, my multi, I reckon, kids. Dolphins to win and the Hammer two-plus tries. Had a couple of opportunities too, the Hammer. He scored one. He's in good nick, though, isn't he? He's picking up a few. Gee, man, he's, again, man, I think I've spoken about a number of times, just the, the influence of players with electric speed and you see what he did in origin you know every time there's a half break he's there backing up they did make some line breaks down that left hand side in origin but he's just always there sniffing about if he's not creating the opportunity he's there to back up no nah, absolutely mate hey let's have a look at the good the bad and the ugly from last weekend's rounds of uh, random matches the good the dolphins big fella uh they are on absolute fire again uh a great win against the sharks down at shark park they started at 325 outsiders and they were just too good. And even when the Sharks come at them, kids, um, they responded. And that is a sign of a really good side, isn't it? Oh, for sure, mate. I mean, they, it was, mate, they were touching them up right up in the first 20 minutes, I think it was. It was ridiculous. Uh, Sharks had a good opportunity, mate, to, to even the game there after the bell. Nico Hines missed that conversion from the sideline. So they did score that last minute to to have that opportunity but couldn't nail it. But, yeah, I thought the, the Dolphins made dominated for most of the game, to be honest. So, huge win there against Sharks at Shark Park. And, again, just shows their consistency. Like, we're halfway through the year now and, and we've seen them last year start to drop off with a few injuries. But they're, they're maintaining their consistency and obviously playing a good brand of footy. So, yeah, they're a genuine top four team and deserve to be there. And I nearly put the mocker on it, mate. I uh, went the early crow uh, last Thursday night footy. I was sending the messages around saying, I told you, boys. And then, <laughs> yeah, too. Uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> uh, the Sharkies come back in. Hey, the bad, uh, a little bit concerning for me. Uh, you know I'm a big fan of the Broncos, mate, but uh, yeah, their season's kind of slowly just slipping away at the moment. Uh, a 22-12 loss to the Rabbitohs last week. Now sitting in ninth position, 7-7. Seven and seven. Um, Any alarm bells for you, Gibbs? Yeah. Well, Matty, they're sliding quick smart, aren't they? There's massive alarm bells going on for the Broncos at the moment to be yep, sitting outside the eight, mate, I think for the first time this year. And like they were a genuine top four team, top two team before the, the, the season kicked off, no doubt about that. And they were flying at the start of the year. They were touching teams up, playing a great brand of footy, defending really well. But, mate, they're, they're sliding down the ladder quick smart at the moment. So I think there's some genuine concerns there. For, for certainly Kevy Walters, um, and there'll be you know there'll be some question marks on the, the playing group. How's team morale, and uh, is everyone on the same page from a, from you know a game plan point of view? And mate, anytime you, you're dropping down the ladder, you're not defending as strong. So yeah, a few a few red flags there, mate. From yeah, I, I couldn't agree more, mate. I reckon Reese Walsh is obviously the key. He's the barometer. They'll come good back half of the year, and I want to see him in that final series because I reckon they just got that X factor about them. Hey, the ugly uh, teams on. The cusp all go down. Dragons, Warriors, Knights all had a chance to jump into the eight last weekend, kids, or at least keep pace with the eight. Uh, all disappointing yeah. losses. Uh, who are you most worried about, mate? What about your Newcastle Knights, kids? Um, oh, oh, where, yeah, where are they at, buddy? Look, they've dropped two games in a row just uh, over the last couple of weeks, which is disappointing. I thought they competed 
you know, pretty pretty well against the Panthers. You know, running yeah. premiers there in Newcastle. It was a beautiful afternoon, Sunday afternoon, four o'clock game, uh, Pack Stadium, and I thought they competed. They competed right up until you know the last few minutes. Really, they had a, a, a really good opportunity where uh, Jackson Hastings done a little chip and chase off a scrum, and it was a great it was a great tackle by Dylan Edwards. He broke out of the scrum, I think he was, and Bradman caught it on the full. And man, if he if he gets that one and gets away. It could just change the last few minutes of the game. But, yeah, Panthers, mate, they stuck so long. They, they ground out that game. But I thought the North Knights competed pretty hard. Uh, and, again, they competed pretty hard against Melbourne the week before. But you're still going to get the job done. You've got to find a way. So, yeah, they'd be disappointed that they've just dropped out of the eight over the last couple of weeks again. Mate, what about the Warriors and the Dragons? Where are they situated? Uh, look, I thought, what I thought Warriors the Dragons will play finals, won't they, Gids? Well, I don't know. They've been, it's been a year of inconsistency for the Warriors yeah. this year on the back of last year. I think um, they're, they're, they're sitting in 12th at the moment, I'm looking at. And, yeah, just to, those three teams, mate, you've just mentioned, just haven't been – they've had some great wins, all those three yeah. teams, but they haven't had enough uh, consistency with back-to-back wins and, you know, three, four wins in a row uh, since this, this time, since the, the ball kicked off, mate, at the start of the year, so – uh, it's getting to the stage, mate, where you know for and against will start to start to uh, will start to come into play, and these little games where you know you're losing by two or six points, they're going to hurt teams at the back end of the year when it comes to the top eight. Yeah, couldn't agree more, mate. And this is the time of the year where you start or wanting to start make your move uh, come finals action because uh, uh, we're on the home stretch after uh, Origin finishes. That is for sure. Hey, let's have a look at this weekend's round of matches. Some cracking games, two kids, might I say. Uh, Dolphins v the Storm Friday, eight pm at Suncorp Stadium. Head to head, Dolphins two thirty eight. Storm at a dollar fifty eight. Dolphins at the line plus three and a half dollar ninety. Storm minus three and a half a dollar ninety. Key talking points, obviously, with the Dolphins. A great win against the Sharks last week. They're not going to have the hammer or Felice Kafusi. Of course, uh, they're mm. in Origin duties. Storm once again prove uh, they are among the best with a win against the Warriors in New Zealand. Not easy. Now sit on top of the ladder. They will be without Harry Grant and Xavier Coates, though. Of course, to Origin. And Wayne struggling. Wayne Bennett's teams have lost their last 11 games against the Storm. That is amazing. Mm. So a little bit of a bogey team yeah, wow. the Storm for Wayne Bennett. Yeah, Craig Bellamy's got got the got it over the top of him there. The old ex coach and assistant coach they were. So yeah, interesting stat that one. But man, I think it was. I'm just trying to have a quick look at the draw here, but I'm pretty sure the last time the Hammer was out for Origin one that the Dolphins had a win during that week, and they, they were missing did. a couple of those boys. So yeah, mate, they look credit to to the Dolphins. They they're having a great year, and, and here we are halfway through the year. They're missing a couple of Origin players again, but um, it would have been great to see both these teams match up fully fit and all players available. But I've seen Pappenhausen's back, mate, your man. Um, he's a great inclusion, mate, for the Storm this week. Um, so I think I'm leaning towards the Storm just with uh, just with the hammer being out and his speed uh, and influence on the, on the team. So I think, mate, Storm, I'll go for this one. They're pretty short. Nice odds for the Dolphins at home, but Storm head to head, mate, for me. For, for a team that haven't done much wrong, uh, they're, they're amazing value, aren't they? The Dolphins. I, yeah. I, I, I can't, you know, I, it's hard. Look, I know it's hard to line teams teams up with players out and stuff, but I reckon they probably just cancel each other out with the outs that are, yeah that both sides have this week. You know, so you know what, mate? I, th- I think there's a, I think there's a perception. You know, even me personally, I'm guilty of this that oh, they can't win this week again. Surely the Dolphins, and they keep yeah, they, they keep, keep taking it, it off. They keep getting yeah. it done. So um, I'm guilty of that myself. But is this week? I'm leaning towards that again. Surely they can't beat the Storm again this week. But geez, they'll be up for it. They'll be able to prove it again. It's yeah, a huge, no. huge, huge game for them, and it'll be another stamp, mate. Uh, bought bookmark in the calendar for this year to to um, cement himself to the top four team. And isn't it good to see Ryan Pappenhausen back for the Melbourne Storm uh, faithful? And let's hope, kids, um, you know, the poor bugger just has no yeah. more injury bad luck, you know, like, and, and, and he can get a really good run at it and have a cracking final series and uh, really uh, stamp his authority on the game because he's a star of the competition, that is for sure, when he's up and going. Yeah, he certainly is, mate. Hopefully, touch what he gets through the game unscathed. Doesn't have to go out there and be the, the the superstar, mate, for his first game back. Just get through, and and that'll build some confidence and uh, relieve a bit of pressure and stress for him, mate. Because I know how much that plays on your mind coming back from long term injury. So, good luck to the pap. 
The Pappy's back. Titans v. the Warriors, Saturday, 3 p.m. at Seabus Super Stadium. Head-to-head -head Titans, 248. Warriors, $1.54 at the line of the Titans, plus $4.50. Warriors, minus $4.50. Key talking points of Titans, they were poor against the Tigers, and they are sitting on the bottom of the ladder. And now they lose. Uh, Maroons forward, Mike Fatuka, or Fatuka, uh, mm. out of that side Fatawaka. 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 Geez, you're good with the pronunciations, mate. You Fatawaka. are very... Very good. Uh, for the Warriors, I'll be looking to bounce back after letting the Storm come back after letting 14-0 last week. They'll be without Kirk Capewell and Mitch Barnett through origin. Uh, Sean lost the Goldie. Warriors halfback Sean Johnson has won 18 of his 21 games against the Titans in his career. That's not a bad little uh, stat mm. there, Gids. Pretty healthy stat, mate, here, that mate? one. Titans, Warriors. Well, geez, the, the, the Titans are... So unpredictable, aren't they? I mean, they've had a couple of couple of decent wins, but overall they've been average, to be honest. You know, as far as putting back to back wins together, back to back consistent games. So I think defensively, that's probably where they've been uh, poor, mate. This year is just defensively, and that loss against the was it the Titans there last week. T was Tigers, a bad mate. One. Tigers, Tigers, Tigers here. Um, so, mate, I'm on the Warriors this week. I'm just looking at the team sheet there. And, again, good pack name for, for the for the Warriors. They don't have too many um, exclusions, mate, due, due to origin, Kurt Capel. Um, but, yeah, pretty star-studded, mate, team. Experienced and dynamic and explosive halves and outside backs. So I'm going to go the Warriors, mate, for that one. Yeah, I, I was toying with possibly uh, my roughie of the round was going to be the Gold Coast Titans, mm. but yeah, hard to go past the New Zealand Warriors. Uh, and just the Titans were just really disappointing last week for mine. Um, so yes, the Warriors to get the job done there, kids. Roosters Bulldogs, Saturday 5.30 at Industry Group Stadium in Gosford. Wow. Head yeah. to head. Roosters a dollar thirty four. Bulldogs at three twenty five at the line. The Roosters minus nine and a half dollar eighty five. Bulldogs plus nine and a half a dollar ninety six. Key talking points. All thanks to Palmer Bet. The Roosters solid win against the Eels, but they're going to be without four of their best with Connor Watson, <clears throat> Spencer Lenu or Lenard Lenu. Is it Len? Come yeah, on, Lenu. Len yeah, you had it. You nailed it, mate. Len First Yu. time, Spencer Lenu. And mate, he yep. was unbelievable in Origin one. Uh, Angus Crichton He's and He's Lindsay explosive. Collins all playing at Origin, of course, for the Bulldogs coming off the bye. Dogs will look to solidify their top eight spot, but they're going to be without Steve Crichton through Origin, but they will have Matt Burton available. And Gosford Roosters. The Roosters have won their last four games played at Gosford. Mm. Match of the round, mate, for me, for this one. Great. Uh, the Bulldogs have been playing some good footy, mate, hitting some good form. One of the best defensive, I think the second best defensive team in the competition this year, the, the Dogs are. So, Certainly playing with plenty of confidence at the moment. Um, I do like the matchup with the fullbacks. James Tedesco, obviously out, out of origin for, for this one for Dylan Edwards. But and, Connor and just Tracy, on Teddy, just, good... just on Teddy, he'd be mm. disappointed with because I thought he was really good in game one. Yeah, he had a couple of errors that he just didn't need to try and push, you know, as far as batting yeah. the ball on where he was a bit under pressure. Um, I mean, I love Teddy. He's one of my favourite players in the competition, but... I think, mate, there was there's been a few changes in origin that if if the guys who are in for game two, if they were fit for game one, they yeah. would have been picked. So yeah. Dylan Edwards was named in the team, unfortunately missed it with a quad strain during uh the week of training. Even Mitchell Moses, I think, would have been there game one. And uh, who was the other one I was thinking of? Well, Latrell was probably not going to be there game one, but definitely those two guys. Maybe Key yeah. Murray was the other one that I think if they were fit game one, they would have already been there. So hence why Mad just brought them back in. But uh, still good lineup for for both teams. Luke Keery in for the Roosters as well and Matt Burton, who were both in camp for game one. And obviously the Dogs, mate, pretty keen to get Matt Burton back uh, into their team rather than him sitting as 18th man. You know, because if you sit 18th man, you miss your club game. Yeah. So I think the Dogs must have, uh, or Gus might have just, Made a little phone call there and said, "Listen, if you're not if, you, if you're not going to pick him and play him, we'll have him back to club footy." Thanks. So, yep, it uh, it just strengthens the dogs' team mate, for for this game. So it's the game around for me. I think you're it's sniffing a, tough a little one. upset here, kids. Oh no, nah, I still like the the team that's named for the Roosters. I think they've been, you know, they've got great experience. There's still some real tough forward pack there. So I am going to go for the Roosters, mate, for this one. Right. But I think it would be competitive. I think it'd be one to twelve, the difference, and a real tough game in the game of the round. 
Yeah, I, I'd toss and turn actually. Um, I thought the Bulldogs were a ridiculous price at three twenty five. Um, mm. you know, so if you're looking for a little bit of value, they're probably the value of the weekend. But I was stuck with the Roosters head to head, mate, to get the job done in a tight, tough tussle. Rabbitohs taking on the Sea Eagles Saturday, seven thirty five p.m. at a core stadium. Head to head, the Rabbits at dollar fifty six. Manly at two dollars forty four at the line. The Rabbitohs minus four and a half dollar ninety six. Manly Sea Eagles plus four and a half at dollar eighty five. Key talking points for the Rabbitohs. The resurgence continues with a great win against the Broncos. They do lose Cam Murray and Latrell Mitchell to origin duties. For the Seagulls, gritty win against the Dragons last week, but they lose Daly Cherry Evans, Jake Trebojevic, and Ola Katow to origin. Um, Ola Kowatu. Ola Kowatu. You were almost the... Ola Kowatu. Very He's close. favourite yep. player too, Big mate. unit. Behind yep. Pappy. Um, so yeah, been a while. Seagulls have not won consecutive wins against the Rabbitohs since 2010. And of course they beat the Bunnies mm. in round one in Vegas. Um, what do you reckon here, Gids? The Rabbits to continue on their winning way? Is well, haven't the out? Bunnies haven't the Bunnies made uh, come in come into pretty short odds there over the last couple of weeks? So yeah, Latrell's come back from what was that his suspension and playing some good footy and he's earned himself a spot back in origin. But I think, mate. The, the move for Jack White and to move into 5'8 has been a good one for the Bunnies to support Cody Walker in his position there. And then obviously having Latrell back at fullbacks. Alex Johnson, uh, I think he ticked over another try, a couple of tries to to move up the the all-time try scoring record. I think he's second overall ever. Huge, huge effort that, that was there last week. Um, so, mate, yep, another good game on the cards, that's for sure. But I think, man, I'm going to go for the Bunnies. They're on a bit of momentum, mate. And playing with some confidence and playing some good shape. So going to go with the Bunnies and see if they can continue their their run, mate, at the moment. Yeah, I'm with the Rabbitohs too, mate, to get the job done. Too many good players out for Manly for mine. Hey, Tigers v Raiders, Sunday, 405 at Campbelltown Sports Stadium, head-to-head. Tigers, 234. Raiders, $1.60 at the line. The Tigers, plus three and a half, dollar ninety nine. Raiders, minus three and a half, dollar eighty two. Key talking points, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Tigers, geez, they needed that win last week against the Titans. For the Raiders, they were poor against the Cowboys at yeah. home. They'll be looking to bounce back. And no origin stars. Neither team have an origin player missing for the round. So that's interesting. And home, not so sweet home. The Tigers have lost their last 10 straight games at Campbelltown. Which way are you yeah. going? I, I'm thinking Raiders. <clears throat> I reckon they're nearly the better of the weekend, kids. This... Well, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking Raiders, mate. I just look, they, they love playing at Campbelltown. Uh, sorry, at uh, Leichhardt, mate. You know, there's no doubt about that. It's a spiritual home, I believe, of, of the Tigers. And, and a great crowd and a great performance there by him last week. Uh, I just don't know if they have the same – Campbelltown has the same aura about it for for the Tigers. Yeah, oh, mate, and again, they haven't been consistent back-to-back after wins. So I think, mate, I'll be, I'll be on the Raiders this week. Raiders were poor last week at home, and I think Sticky would have given them a fair rocket, mate, uh, this week. And I'll, uh, I'll turn things around, mate, for, for this game against the Tigers at Campbelltown. So Raiders, mate, head-to-head, mate. Yeah, I, I'm Raiders too, mate. And as I said, better the round for mine. Uh, $1. sixty. You're not getting much uh, juice, but you might try and pick the margin, one to twelve or uh, yeah. thirteen plus. Might be the way to go, and uh, and just get a little bit more bang for your buck, kids. Hey, uh, what about Absolutely. your pick five, mate? I think we're pretty similar, to be honest, are we? Pick five this week. Yeah, mate. We are. I'm Storm, Warriors, Roosters, Rabbits, Raiders. We're exactly the same, mate. Absolutely, same. exactly yeah, the pretty same. Pretty short, mate. Pretty That's short. Six bucks eighty six. Your calculation there, mate, via the Palmer yeah. bit app. Do you know the only different way I'd go, Gids? Uh, mm. The only different way I'd go, I'd maybe if you chuck uh, Canterbury to to cause the upset against the Roosters. Yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, your six bucks goes to kind of nearly sixteen bucks. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so that might be you know just chuck a couple of different combos. I reckon. Uh, this well, weekend. I think mate, yeah, if you're if you're brave enough to pick uh, your yeah, genuine outsider uh, out of those five games, it'll certainly uh, increase, increase the odds. That's for sure. And then, mate, as we've seen over you know the last what is it, fourteen or fifteen weeks, that there's there's genuine upsets every week at the moment. Uh, just got to be smart enough, brave enough to pick which one. Yeah, and get the the, the right ones, kids. Like as you said, you, yeah. you picked a couple last week, mate, and uh, we just couldn't get on the right All ones. The wrong ones. 
What about uh, the kids get on, mate? What do you got for us this week, buddy? Mate, the kids get on. I'm going to go for the, the match of the round, mate. For me, Roosters versus Bulldogs. I'm going to go Roosters 1-12, to and but Dogs to score first. I think the Dogs will be yeah, right mate. up this one. I think it'll be the Dogs will be right up to uh, to just show the, to the rest of the competition, mate, that they're, they're not going to be pushed around. They're not going to be bullied by the Roosters. Tough four pack the Roosters of name. And uh, I think um, Cyril, Cameron Sorello haven't really fired up for this one, so I think they'll come out of the blocks. Pretty fast. First try scorers, Bulldogs, but Roosters to win one to twelve. Love uh, it. Five bucks eighty three at the moment. Nice, nice little love yeah. for the weekend, mate. All thanks to Palmer Bit, of course, late. mate. I'm going to go uh, Friday night footy. Dolphins Storm. Storm to win one to thirteen. I reckon it'll be a tight, tough affair. Dolphins have done nothing wrong. And uh, our man, uh, Pappy, to score any time try scorer and also Katoa, any time mm. try scorer. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm the odds will be just here, just here, yeah, somewhere. just okay. right, yep, right there. Right, will be, right mate. There. All right, so uh, that's the way that I'm playing. Good bet. Uh, Maddie's Pappy, Pappy will score one, mate. He'll be back, he'll just get one supporting, mate, up through the middle line break. And here comes the Pappy just flying down the middle. Couldn't agree more, mate. You should be calling the game, big fella. You should be in the, <laughs> in the commentary box calling it. Hey, uh, kids, download the Palmer Bet app, get involved, uh, and as we always say, gamble responsibly and always think about what you're really gambling with. Don't forget the Palmer Bet Punters Club. Two kids, not too far away Absolutely. from dropping. This is going to be huge. It's a lot like the old bet with mates, the uh, the competitors and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get a little group together as well, AFL, NRL, uh, a little bit of horse racing, uh, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun as well. So I can't wait for that, kids. Mate, it's going to be an absolute beauty, mate. Can't wait to uh, to see the promotional videos, mate, come out about that one too. I'm excited to see how they unfold. And uh, that one I, nailed, only... I nailed that bit that... of filming that day, didn't I? <laughs> that one only <laughs> took you four or five goes, I reckon. The other <laughs> one, which I don't know, is, has that gone actually up on social media yet, the one with the photo, mate? Because um, that was seriously, uh, I reckon that was take number 55. Oh. Yeah. Now the signed jersey. Yes. It was, a, it, was a, it was a train wreck. That was absolute train. <laughs> I had it all worked out. Oh, and the mate. marketing guru behind the scenes here just said, "Mate, just uh, just want you to say these scripted lines." <laughs> and I just went to a puddle of <laughs> puddle of mess. Oh, I love it, mate. Hey, listen, have a wonderful weekend, kids, and uh, look forward to uh, to catching up uh, next week, big fella. It's always a pleasure, mate. And uh, as we say, download that Palmer Bed app and get involved today. Enjoy, everyone. Have a great weekend. Think, is this a bet you really want to place? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.